Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to divide the grid into an area template. You can group cells of your grid together into an area and give the area a custom name. Do this by using grid template areas on the container like this. Grid template, template areas, and then we've got header, 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 advert, content, content, and then footer, footer, footer. Interesting. The code above merges the top three cells together into an area named header and the bottom three cells into a footer area and it makes two areas in the middle row, advert and content. Note, every word in the code represents a cell and every pair of quotation marks represents a row. In addition to custom labels, you can use, the peri you can use a period to designate an empty cell in the grid. Cool. So we wanna place the area template so that the cell label advert becomes an empty cell. Place an area template so that the cell labeled advert the cell labeled advert hmm, becomes an empty cell advert interesting huh. okay so here we have advert here we want to place an area template so that the cell labeled advert becomes an empty the container class should have a grid template areas grid template areas it has that property similar to preview but has a period instead of an advert oh so they just want us to put a period here oh wow okay what is that doing create template areas header 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 huh yeah, you can see this is the container, and then this is item one, item two, item three. These should all have labels of, of that. This one's just set to the dot. I'm not understanding the value of this. Huh. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this lesson, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.